testing one two testing one two right let's get back into the game oh, oh. testing one two oh, don't right. need to let's get back into the game oh right I don't need to That is the sound of all night fuel opening up. Two litre bottle of Dr. Pepper. Should keep me going all night. I was alone again, and soon I would look into the eyes of fear. Literally. Because I reckon three hours for this, and then I've got to start last life from scratch. Uh, well, from the, from the beginning. The last light has a lot more quirks about it. Um, just in reference to how the game plays. Oh. I think it's gonna kill me. <laughs> Fuck. Note to self, don't sprint. No sudden moves. Yeah, I'm not intending to fight these things. Well, not as long as I can help it anyhow. I like how they just sort of shrug, just like, Mwah. Usually, they fuck off. They don't come at you again. Usually. See? They don't always behave like that. But sometimes they do. I don't know what causes 
them to act. Back up, I can't back up. Knew it. I was alone again. Basically, one spawns in front of you, one spawns behind you. Which makes it fucking difficult to get past them. Unless you sprint. But we all know they don't like that. Past it whilst it's distracted. Knowledge is power, 
a worn out slogan before the war. Nobody probably even thought of its actual meaning anymore. Knowledge was available to anyone. To anyone. Uh, my stepfather told me of a portable phone. Told me a portable phone could answer any question at the flick of a finger. Nobody cared much about studying, searching for new information, and remembering it anymore. Uh, anymore. And then, in a singular moment, all the information vanished. The phone lines went dead, the phone batteries discharged, and those who were reluctant to admit knowledge into their heads were left with empty heads. Knowledge became power, a precious commodity again too precious. Here in the Great Library, more knowledge about the Earth and people is probably stored than anywhere else, but each letter read from its vast vaults has to be paid for in blood. Indeed. I think one of the best bits in the book is when Archum actually has to go to the Great Library. And it's horrendous. Like, this is bad enough. But the actual library, someone gets their guts ripped out. There's a giant firefight. God, it's brutal. I will shoot you, and then probably die, so please go away. Now. I can bust through a door just like you. Also, the reason that Archelm is in the Great Library in the book is different than this. Because in this, he's in search of information on D6. But in the book, he's there to get a book for the what are called Brahmin in Polis. They're the knowledge keepers, the bookworms. They send him here to get a book for them. As a test, to see if he's really worth his muster. Because of all of the shenanigans with the sort of ghosts in the tunnels and that.
<laughs> Forgot about that. Again, the stream's chugging, but I've got 180 frames. one of those bits where you're like, I'm just gonna run, don't. Be careful, because there's a lot of, I don't want to say dead ends, but areas that it would be unwise to go into. And they will flank you. You know me, walk away. Or are you the one that tried to pull me through the tiny hole in the wall? The disadvantage with running is you can fall into their holes. They're holes that I like to call murder holes because if you fall through those, you are going to be buggered. two of them here. This could be bad. Know why everyone's scared of the librarians? That's why. There aren't many things that will take on demons. Not like that.
need a new mask as well. Really? No. That encounter could have been worse. It could have tried to eat me. Into the archive. The underground depository was a frightening place, and I had no idea where or what to search. But I refused to think that all my efforts would come to nothing. Already, the underground depository was a frightening place. Now, these ones are way more dangerous than the other ones, and the other ones are pretty fucking dangerous. Away. He was about to drop down somewhere. What are these librarians? We've gave these creatures this funny name just because they were way too horrible to rename, remain unnamed. One thing is certain, these are no mere beasts. I have no idea the, no idea the clay did radiation model these abominations out of. But they are definitely too smart for regular mu mutated animals. I see a glitter of intelligence in their eyes. And we don't know what... And we don't know what is it that they see in ours. But is you don't run, it's if you don't run, don't fight and just keep staring directly at one of these, something happens and you get to keep your life. Even though one of these can crush an experienced and well-armed fighter like a bug, could it be that when looking into a human's eyes they recall, however vaguely, that once they were humans too? Maybe. Go away. Go away. I don't want one to come up behind me, so go away. Just seen a 
An arrow stuck in that shelf over there. No, 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 no. Go away. towards me. Stop. Stop. He really doesn't like me. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh yes. I just saw that lurker ping off into that hole in the wall. I'm stealthy enough. 
Oh, shit, 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 shit. I'd say that went pretty well, <laughs> all things considered. Deep breath. Ooh. Almost bricked it. should under no circumstances ever think you're SAFE! That's why! <laughs> like, you shouldn't think you're safe! Panic attack! Panic attack! Panic! Fairly certain that's not even the worst. If you don't know that's going to happen, boy oh boy is that fun. Stairs are there, but that's, there's no way through there, you might be thinking to yourself. That's true, there isn't. It's over there. Anytime there's more than one of them, it becomes a nightmare. Ugh.
and we'll avoid waking him up. into the archival room. Nice. Now I've just got to find... I had found the D6 documents, but Miller had not yet returned. Without his help, I wasn't certain I could get out of the library alive. But everything depended on it. Things are a bit about to get a bit intense for Artyom. Oh, I love that every time. Oh, where you going, my man? I'll take you there for fifty bullets. <laughs> so you made it, Arturo. I had my doubts, to be honest. Did you find anything? Okay, saddle up. Okay, Negribeta. Of course I know Khan. Hey, how about some music? Sure, hit it in. Can't wait to see some more of the world like this in Exodus. Sit back, relax. You can hear the demons flying around outside.
I was put in charge of radio monitoring. Our hope was to contact the government bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent, but the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. Subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No. Oh, that's note two. That's a flamethrower. I tell him. I'm blaming him. Speak whatever you like. You can't find stuff like this in the metro. It's the latest military equipment. That thing is ridiculous, but I'm not going to take it. I might take... I'll take an AK. The cost in blood is outrageous. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we'll go for the IR since we're mostly going to be in the dark. Go for the suppressor and the laser. Fine, and both of those are fine. Oh, hey there, Artyom. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm exercising, as you can see. Endlessly chopping wood. Hello there, Artyom. I told you we'd meet again. Indeed you did. It's a nice base the Rangers got themselves. I heard you received no help from Polis. What's your next move? Keeping silent, you're turning into a Ranger. Take a close look at the road you follow, Artyom, and be aware of how it might end. You reap what you sow, Artyom. Force answers force. War breeds war, and death only brings death. To break this vicious circle, one must do more than just act without any thought or doubt. Well, Artyom, I've been chatting here for far too long. It's time to go. That's my last part one. Khan, I owe everything to him. If not for him, I'd rot in that anomaly tunnel. I'd never be able to reach the library. If not for him, Miller would never pay attention to me. I don't really know what kind of man he is. I don't even know if he's a human at all. Yes, I was sent on this path by Hunter, but it's Khan who walks me through it. It's weird, but even Miller's stubbornness, who Miller's subordinates <coughs> <coughs> who seem to acknowledge no authority other than their indomitable colonel pay heed to his wandering to this wandering philosopher and believe him he has some mysterious power over human souls I wish I could meet him again I have too many questions nobody else could answer <clears throat> Why a church? Is it just the sturdiness of its walls, or do Miller's fighters believe it could protect the them? Could protect the them? It's them better than anything else. It's weird. Even those who stand firmly on the ground, looking death in the face, and 
and by all accounts must be quite used to it, still seek protection from heavens. Rangers don't speak of it, but I saw many of them wearing undercloth crosses. I heard someone tell that the world turned inside out after the apocalypse, and while hell ended up under the skies, the people had to find refuge where hell used to be. That's why there's supposedly no better refuge on the surface than, old, than the old churches. I don't know about that, but these icons and frescoes adorning the church walls instill some kind of calmness, even in me, as if we, the sinners who had the divinity created world destroyed, can still hope for absolution, can still pray for salvation. Interesting. I'm not a particularly religious person. I say that, yet I work in the religious industry, technically. Okay, 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 there's not much useful in here, just hints at most, although it does show the way to D6. Well, that's our destination then. Are you ready? Da. So, how are we faring? Wolman, is everything ready? Uh, the firewood's done. Vladimir? The gear's ready. You guys? Ready. Settle up then. Pakonyam. Well, Artyom, I've been chatting here for far too long. It's time to go. Good luck, Khan. Nothing beats the churches in last light. Those things are bloody creepy. It's the old church dungeon. Get in! Dark tunnel, wheel rattle, and the smell of death. That's how our journey to D6 began. But our goal seemed closer now. According to the map, there are several ways of reaching D6. Now the closest way to the facility is near Kielska. Okay, we tried that route. Kielska? We've heard strange things about that station. There was an explosion in the tunnel, and lots of people were buried alive. A rumor has it they survived. Bullshit, bro. Of course it is. Who believe it? Vladimir lost all his family in the tunnels. And he doesn't remember anything about what happened. <laughs> Artyom! 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 Oh. 
Wake up, Artyom, wake up! Great, he's coming to... Put the light away, you're blinding him. Artyom, are you okay? Can you stand up? Artyom, who is that? We're arriving! There's an airlock here! Great, stop him! Hell, this place giving the creeps. I love this thing. It's a steam engine. What is? Take a look at the game. <sighs> the control unit is broken to smithereens. All the lines are cut. Vlad, get your tools ready. We need this door open. Artyom, you stay here and cover our backs. We don't need surprises here. Sure, I don't think we're going to smoothly. Watch your back. Okay. Okay. Vladimir, find the first block chart. Oh no, look here. First we connect the wires, then on my mark we throw the switches. Something's out there. Something's closing in. Ignore it. The Nosalysis! Fire! Heavens, I'm going to fight it! Note to self, don't stand in fire, it burns. Something's closing in. Let's get ourselves together. There's a long road ahead. Okay, guys, this is the door leading to D6. What's that? And it never happened to me before. The dreams seem more like visions, and they become more and more vivid. Still holding sway over my consciousness, even after I wake up. Even I can still understand their meaning, yet time after time I wake up with the same heavy feeling. The premonition of a catastrophe, one brought about by my own actions. Damn. Okay. Okay. 
The chaos of the tunnel was oh. locked away behind the airlock gates. Oh, I've apparently they dropped stream. Invulnerable. And at that moment, All right. 